And that does include negatively targeting another person with sexually focused terms. So using terms like simp, um, incel or virgin is an insult uh, to negatively refer to another person's sexual activity is not allowed under this new policy. Um, and in addition to the policy change, we're also proactively denying emotes that include the term simp and will remove them when reported. All I know is that like, just think about it. I'm glad that I'm not a simp. Not a simp. Not a simp. Not a simp. A few moments later. Twitch police! Now, you might be wondering, Twitch, why are you nuking your own platform? Well, because here at Twitch.tv, we believe in principles, such as, screw the viewers and fuck the streamers. They are our bitches anyways. Complete neglect of communication and transparency, combined with biased, harsh and entirely uneven enforcement of policies, and of course most important of all, sucking the dicks of wealthy corporations. Because here at Twitch.tv, we don't just rape the dreams of young talented content creators. We also shove it in their faces by promoting slutty Twitch thoughts. Twitch.tv, there is nothing we won't do for money. Except treat our creators with respect. What up guys, Party Knife here. Now, uh, I swear to god, originally, this clip was just meant to be part of the meme montage and nothing more. Until I realized that, you know, considering Twitch's policies, maybe it was a good idea to separate this video or that clip from the other sort of streamers, which is also why I blocked out the names uh, in the clip. But the more I, I sat down and sort of wanted to upload just the clip, the more I realized that I, I had to get this off my chest because the hypocrisy annoys the hell out of me. You maybe think I was over-exaggerating in the clip, but I, I really, I was not. Like, the things you can get in trouble for on Twitch is just absolutely mind-boggling. So I apologize for the rant, and a warning, there's going to be a lot of opinion here. Um, so take it with a grain of salt. But, uh, but the reason I chose to make this video is because I have certain principles that I believe are worth standing up for. I'm not gonna get any monetization off this video. I, I don't want or care to. Because I feel like something has to change on the internet these days. And I don't know where else to start than by making a video. So I guess here we go. And like, I don't mean for this to sound like a self-righteous lecture or anything, but twitch.tv, which is a site I've been on for, I think, 10 years now and have absolutely loved. I used to remember wanting to be a Twitch streamer way before I thought of becoming a YouTuber. Yet, in this day and age, I wouldn't want to build my livelihood on Twitch. I would be scared if the subs I have on, on YouTube were followers on Twitch. I'd be scared for my livelihood for more than one reason. Now, these recent implementation uh, changes to Twitch policy is just the drop that made the bucket f uh, overflow, right? Um, I get what they're trying to do, but like, th you cannot treat the world and the internet and your own site and your own creators like they're children. Sure, there are children on the platform, and sure, there's no easy way to solve the problem of harassment, but it's never the right solution to simply ban words. That is the laziest and dumbest way you can possibly go about this. Were Twitch, at the very least, consistent then in the enforcement of said rules, I could respect it. But they've shown time and time again that they're, not only are they not consistent, some big creators are favored because they're 
more important uh, monetization wise other big creators seem to get targeted a lot more some people will get like severe punishments others will get uh, like a, a two-day ban three-day ban for offenses that are completely contradictory in in sort of uh, in severeness and that's just not okay that is just unacceptable on every level and when you ban a word Here's the, here's the thing about just banning a word. Like, you cannot take these things out of context. And that's what they're choosing to do. They're essentially saying that they're taking the easy route and simply banning the word, completely disregarding the context in which it was used. An example of this would be Forsen. Now, you could say, Twitch, well, they get so and so many reports a day, they don't have time to check them all and go through. No, fair enough, fair enough, if that was the case, right? But that's not the case. There have been multiple examples of Twitch, like, like of big streamers, like for example, Forsen, in a case where, due to his Swedish accent, he was, he was saying, ah, fuck it, you know, oh, fuck it, which came out and sounded a little bit like he was saying, fuck it. Someone reported him, he got a ban. Fuck! Fuck it! You, you know, people were on Twitter and a bunch of other social media sites blowing up and saying, uh, Twitch, hello! He was saying, oh, fuck it. So Twitch reduced his ban from, like, I think it was, I don't remember if it was, like, a two-week to, like, a three-day ban. But that, that is the decision that makes the least sense of all. Because, like, either he was guilty and he used the word fuck it and said fuck it, or he was innocent, and he said, fuck it. There's no in-between. He was either guilty or innocent. So reducing his ban was like, that makes no sense, right? And you have some streamers going, like, showing nudity, where, uh, you know, you'll, we'll, we'll give them a little, uh, like, a warning, and a, little, a, a slight ban, and then you have others that use the word, and yes, I will use the word, so careful if you're sensitive, nigger. Or, or other words in a completely non-derogatory way, and they will just get banned off the platform, right? And, and like, you cannot take these things out of context. Uh, I've said it many times, it's the classic example I use just because it's the easiest. Like, the statement, the term nigger, originated in the 1800s as a derogatory term against African Americans. That is just an objective statement about an objective fact of the nature of the meaning of the word. There was no ill, like there was no ill intent in that sentence. There was no ill will and, and there was no harm done. It was literally just an objective factual statement about the word. That would have gotten me banned on Twitch. That would have gotten me potentially if I, if you know, if I wasn't really careful every moment I was streaming, I would risk getting my whole livelihood taken away from me due to something completely taken out of context. And, and there, therein lies the problem, because we, you, we know that there are plenty of these cases where Twitch have looked at it manually. They have been looking at this stream with a perfectly reasonable explanation for why whatever incident it might have been happened. Clear cases of accidental sort of nudity due to like someone in the in the chat donating something like clear cases of innocence where the streamer had no ill intent or will and yet still they just ban them they just ban them because why not now what do you think happened the day after they decided to ban the use of the word simp well uh, the use of the word simp doubled on twitch in twitch chats the next day now, there's a name for this effect. It's called the Streisand effect. Because you tried to tell people, no, you can't do this, that actually increased the amount and, and the reasons for people doing it. Do you really t are you really telling me, Twitch, that the most important thing you can think of to fix on your platform and to do better on your platform com is censoring Twitch chats? Streamers know what's best for their streams, okay? Streamers are in their stream chats all the time, 
And I don't mind that they, they ban words. That's totally fine, because they're there. They know what the issues are in their stream in particular, and they should have full right to ban words. But banning it across the platform, that is just, that is just dumb. It's unintelligent, and it goes against everything I believe in, which is that you cannot draw an arbitrary line between what is and is not okay to say. The internet and the world is an offensive place. But like, how have we convinced ourselves that the internet of all places, you have the right not to be offended. I get offended all the time. When I hear people in dead seriousness talking about how the earth is flat and the moon landing was faked, in, in dead seriousness, don't you think I get offended? When I hear people talk about invisible men in the sky, talking to them, completely contradicting claims and stories that from a scientific perspective make absolutely no sense, don't you think I feel offended? Of course I do. But does that mean that because I feel offended, I think that those voices should be silenced and those people shouldn't have the right to express those opinions? No, of course not. That would be insane. How are we ever going to make any progress if, if you just shut, like, shut out the stuff you don't like? But it actually gets even worse. Because what happens next is on the Twitch front page, Twitch is promoting a music video in which the word nigger and the word bitch was used to combine something like 15 times in less than a minute. No problem. Don't see the problem. I mean, it's music, right? It's music. It's in a song. Clearly, it can't be offensive because it's in a song. But we'll just straight up ban our creators for accidentally not even using the word, accidentally having the word in any context on their stream, whether intentional or not. Like, the hypocrisy of Twitch and the people who run Twitch are just are mind-boggling. Like, I, I don't understand what kind of mental gymnastics they have to make or do for this to make any sense in their own head. Like, I've never understood how people can have contradicting sort of completely contradicting claims in their head about how the world works I don't understand it like maybe I'm, I'm the weirdo here but it just these are making no sense to me man I'm just saying this make no sense to me like not only are you communicating to your users the viewers that they're not you know they're not mature enough to be left to their own devices, right? You're, you're communicating to them that no, as a whole, you cannot, like, we have to moderate you. But worse yet, you're sending that very same message to all of your creators telling them that you don't trust them to moderate their own chats. You don't trust them to know what is best for their own stream chats. And I, I don't think you realize that another thing you're doing is you're essentially putting, you're essentially categorizing people who, let's say, send a, a Nazi uh, cross because they're 12 years old and trolling, right? Like, they're dumb, they're immature. You're putting those people in the exact same category as actual Nazis trying to recruit other people to become Nazis. And I'll be the first to say, fuck Nazis, okay? Nazis are fucking dumb. But, like, those two things are just, are not the same. It's just not the same. Like, how can you punish a, a momentary glimpse of accidental nudity due to effects that were outside uh, the control of the streamer, but on the other side, you are literally just promoting, and I mean promoting, girls with little clothes on sitting in, in, in hot tops and and bubble baths and essentially literally obviously openly selling sex to minors how, how is that okay how do you allow that on your platform and still call it a gamer platform whilst on the other end of the spectrum people who actually word hard, hard who've been making content for you guys for years you'll ban without a qualm not even considering the context of the incident. I, 
it's, it's just astonishing to me how you can be so inconsistent in how you enforce your policies. And I, I just think Twitch are going about it the entire wrong way. Uh, the, yeah, entirely the wrong way. And I think they're banning people for absolutely ridiculous things and potentially threatening people's livelihood. I mean, the big streamers, they'll be fine. Whatever. They'll, they'll you know, they don't need anything. But it's it's the smaller guys that get sort of, yeah, that take the worst beating here. Like, I wouldn't know what to do if someone took away my YouTube channel. R right in this point in life, if someone came to me and said, you're banned off YouTube permanently, I wouldn't know what to do. Like, I... It's hard to explain how lost I would feel if someone did that. And that's happening to people for completely innocent statements. And I think it's disgusting. And I apologize for the long rant, guys, but uh, I had to get that off my chest. <laughs> so, of course, remember, this is just my opinion. I'm not saying I'm necessarily right about everything I mentioned in this video. Um, that's just how I look at it. And uh, you guys are welcome to disagree or agree down in the comments. Stay nice though, and uh, <laughs> as always, I love you guys. Stay awesome. Peace out.